I want to add a quick note about this constructor function. Remember, this gets called every time we instantiate an object. And this is how we create custom objects, right? But an interesting thing that you can do here, because you have control over how the instantiation happens, you can do different safeguards. For example, let's remove this for now because we don't need it. Or actually, let's change this to, let's do age. We want to check if the user is over 18. Then we're going to run this. Otherwise, well, the program is going to error out because we only let people age 18 and over to play the game because let's say it's rated R. So we can do different things in the constructor to make sure that we are instantiating the object the proper way. We can also give default parameters. Like name can be anonymous if we wanted to, if they don't provide a name. And then age will be, let's say, zero if they don't provide an age. So that here, let's say I forget to instantiate player one and player two. If I click run, I get an error. Player object has no attribute name. And this is on line 11. Now, why do we not have self.name? Well, because on line 17, we're trying to call shout. But unfortunately, we never instantiated this because when we don't provide anything, the age is going to be zero. So we're never going to instantiate with these properties. Okay, so let's just give it Tom. And then age is going to be 10. And let's just remove player two for now. If I do player one dot shout and I click run, once again, I get an error because, well, Tom is only 10 years old. We're not going to create this character. Now, we're going to talk about errors and maybe instead of just having this error out, we can send a message saying, hey, player is not old enough. But for now, I hope you see the power that comes with this idea of constructor and the instantiation of an object, where we're able to add these different controls and safeguards to perhaps make sure that we receive the right data type in order to create the object, or maybe the age is over 18, in order to make sure that when we actually instantiate this player one object, we're doing it the right way. So this init gives you a lot of control.